Krish Patel, I'm 30 years old and I'm from Bolton. I got started with Tales to Inspire after a lot of struggles in my own personal life. I was feeling really lonely. All I wanted to do was help people. Why was that so hard? And to be honest, I kind of been on a roller coaster journey where I nearly gave up a few times. But I actually run a homeless outreach group in Manchester and one of the homeless people I came across said, stories are the pages that make up this book we call life. That changed everything. It helped me realize that everyone has a story. How do we use those stories to encourage people to never give up? That was my light bulb moment. And from then on, I took a little bit of time to create Tales to Inspire and that's what I'm now doing full time. When I was 18, I became a professional footballer for a team called Berry, um, so three leagues below the Premier League. And admittedly, I got to play against some of the best players in the world and I thought I'd made it. This Asian lad from Bolton, who no one knows, he's playing, he's doing his dream. And a year later, I wasn't a professional footballer anymore. I struggled with my injuries and my mental health and I really started to feel down about things. And in 2011, I was released and didn't know what I was going to do in my life. After that, I decided I wanted to help people. If I can Facebook message someone across the world, why can't I help someone across the world? So I created something called the Road to Uganda. And the Road to Uganda was four marathons in four days from the northwest of England to the northeast, from coast to coast. And I'd go over to Uganda and I'd build something sustainable in 2016. So I was 24 when I came up with the idea. And people would say, Chris, you're mad. Have you run a marathon before? I'd say, nope. They'd say, have you been to Africa before? I'd go, nope. And they'd say, what are, you, what are you gonna give the money that we're donating to the road to Uganda? What are, we, what are you gonna give it to? And I was like, I don't know. I've never been to Uganda. So I ran the four marathons. I went over to Uganda in 2017 and volunteered with disabled children, homeless children, in an orphanage, coaching football. And admittedly, I knew nothing, absolutely nothing. But it opened my eyes to a whole new world. And they ended up building a schoolhouse to educate over 150 children. That was it. I'd done something to help others who I'd never previously met. We think that we have to be kind to people we know. What about the people we don't know? And that was it. I transformed my direction in life. That was 2018. I went and finished it over there in Uganda. And then I found myself back in Manchester, back in, back in Bolton and in the northwest of England, not where I wanted to be. And I applied for over 250 jobs. I couldn't get a job. And I ended up working, serving coffee at a coffee bar in 2018. And I was really struggling. It's not where I wanted to be. It's not what I wanted to do. And I felt like a failure. I'd let down myself. I'd let down everyone. And although I say I never would have killed myself, every day I questioned my reason for living. So I had to realize that I had to go down a different path. And that's when I said I was going to create Tales to Inspire in 2019, after I came across a homeless person. I definitely believe that we all have a story to share. Every single one of us has, every single one of us has been through a hardship, a difficulty. Have you lost a loved one? Have you struggled financially? Relationship struggles? And when we realize that, that we all have something, that actually we all have a tale to inspire, the question is, are you willing to dig it up a little for it to come to the surface? And when you can do that, things are so powerful. So 100% we all have a tale to inspire, 100%. The question is, are you willing to share that, to connect you to others and help others realize just how incredible they can be? Telling stories matters because we are all part of a story. When we are born in this world, we are told stories. When we grow up, everything's part of a story. It makes us think of the wondrous, incredible world that we live. However, somewhere along the line, we forget that we're part of a story. And actually, we control the pen of that story. So the question is, what kind of book do you want to write for your life? What genre of book do you want to write? And how do you want each chapter to go? 
And when you realize that stories are you, you then take control and you have responsibility for your life. You're not the victim. And that's where everything is so important. It's so connected. And I really truly feel that if we connect to stories through adulthood as well as childhood, we live in such a more empowering place um, in this world that we live. It's important to share our vulnerable stories with other people because that's life. Some of us live with our heads in the clouds and we think that, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show a different side of us. The social media version of Krish. The social media version of Krish is not true. That is not me. How can you show your true self? The good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, the everything that exists within that. So for me personally, being vulnerable is one of the most powerful things you can do because it instantly brings other people's walls down. And when you bring other people's walls down, you can then connect to the other people. So for me personally, whenever I speak to others, I have to be prepared to be vulnerable because when I can do that, I can connect to others and other people can then build empathy. And our society in the world that we live is seriously lacking in empathy. It's the number one thing in my opinion that if we can build empathy through vulnerability, we can transform so many different situations that we find ourselves in. My dreams for Tales to Inspire are for people to understand that every single one of us has a purpose. We all have unlimited, infinite potential that exists within every single one of us. And if we can create this movement across the world, this inspirational community of people saying that in my own unique way, I will be the best version of me and I will help you be the best version of you. It's this movement of intangibility, something that actually we can't touch. We live in a tangible world, but actually some of the most precious things are the things we can't see. Without oxygen, we wouldn't be here, but you can't see it. You can't feel it. And that's it, the power of a story. So my dream for Tales to Inspire is a feeling. It's to know that actually this is a global movement of people taking action. A message that I want people to realize and to take from this is every single one of us has this potential. Every single one of us. Your job is not to speak to the person in front of you. It's to speak to the best version of that person in front of you. And that starts with the person in the mirror. The hardest thing is to speak to the person in the mirror. But once you can do that, you can transform your world and that will reflect in everything else that you see. My name is Krish Patel and this is my voice. Thank you.